Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna do a modification to the turbo four cylinder engine. I'm sorry guys with the C300. I promise next week I'll have a performance mod for you guys specifically. So make sure you stay tuned. But for you guys with the turbo four cylinder engine, today we're gonna to upgrade the air intake tube or piping. So why upgrade this piping? Well, if you own a Mercedes C250 or a four cylinder turbo engine version of it, you know that the piping is plastic and is known to crack and leak over time, giving you a check engine light and decreasing your car's performance. I guess it was just a really crappy move by Mercedes in making this product so kind of cheap. It doesn't really stand the test of time. It doesn't have a lot of longevity. So instead of spending two, three hundred dollars or even more for a replacement part that is made by Mercedes, that's the same exact thing. Why not go out and buy something that's better? So what I have is I have a brand new air intake pipe from Tornado Tuning, who's my favorite when it comes to uh, performance modifications for the Mercedes C-Class. So their piping is made of high temperature silicone. So it's super flexible, super durable and it'll stand the test of time. It's also made of CNC aluminum alloy, so you're getting like really strong, durable material, and it's not held on by any glue, so you're not gonna get any micro leaks, uh, any check engine light, uh, and you're not gonna lose performance. You're actually going to gain performance by installing this upgrade. Also, at the same time, the price is very reasonable. It's probably about the same price as if you were to buy an OEM plastic version, why not get an upgraded version that's actually going to help your car, help performance, and last longer. If you're interested in buying this, definitely reach out to my buddy Naresh at Tornado Tuning. I'll leave his contact information in the uh, video description below. So not to keep you guys waiting, let's get to the install. Before we install the pipe, I want to disconnect my battery just in case I accidentally knock something over. Let's remove the engine cover and start off by loosening the clamp for the air intake pipe. Now we want to disconnect this connector by using a torque screwdriver. It's held on by two torque screws. Just remove it and pop the connection right off. Next, let's remove these three connections to the air intake tube. For this last connection, I'm not going to fully remove it. I just want to loosen it because when we go and pull off the whole intake tube, that will slide right out. So if you follow this small pipe, it leads to the other end of the air intake tube. That's where we're going to have to remove the final part. Let's first remove the turbo pipe out of the way. So with the turbo pipe out of the way, now we have access to the air intake tube final connection. It's held on by a clamp similar to the first connection that we removed. You can have access to it by reaching underneath the diverter valve. It's very tight, so you're going to need a short screwdriver. So this was very hard to do. If you have small hands, you're good to go. If not, you might have to move the coolant reservoir out of the way so you have access. Now that we loosened up that clamp, let's remove this final connection and then we can pull the intake tube out. Now that the clamp is loose and all the connections are taken care of, we can just pull the pipe right out. So 
So here's the piping, here's the old one, here's the brand new one. We're gonna have to transfer some of the pieces over to the new one, including these two clamps and also this little black connection, which is actually a pain to pull right off. So the clamps have been removed and transferred to the new pipe. Now we have to tackle this connection. So this black plastic piece is a pain to pull off. Uh, just be very careful you don't break anything, but it's just pulling it right off. So this is the piping, that connection right there, you can just yank it off, it's rubber. And then if you accidentally pull off this black kind of angled plastic piece, it's a pain to pull off the actual connection. So I actually use a, a knife and kind of cut the side so it can pop right off. Now I can transfer this to the brand new pipe. Okay, everything looks good to go. Let's take it downstairs and install it on the car. Before we do, I forgot to mention that the kit also includes an adapter specifically for this little tube. It will allow the tube to be angled so that way it can easily fit onto the piping that's on the car. You have to use the adapter. So I just finished installing it back in my car. It probably took less than 10 minutes. It was actually pretty easy. I did struggle a little bit on the um, large intake tube that marries up with the air filter, but I finally got that on. Uh, driving around for a bit, no check engine light, car feels strong. I'm at a stoplight right now, and when it goes green, let's see what it can do. It definitely helps with a little pull, that's all I gotta say. I feel, I feel an improvement. I mean, but overall, this is just a good modification to do to your car regardless. It's better than the stock pipe. Well, there you have it, guys. It was actually a pretty easy install. It's straightforward. Definitely roll up your sleeves and get this done before your stock intake starts crapping out and cracking. This will definitely help solve that issue and give you better performance, so why not do it? Well, I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.